Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to manage the account summary widget in the CQG desktop platform, along with some other widgets you may find useful pairing with the account summary widget. So to start off, I would suggest adding a new page. Head over to the top left hand corner to expand your sidebar, and then scroll down to add a new page. Click on empty page, and I'll name mine account summary. Hit OK, and now we have a blank page. With a new page to work with, now head over to the Add a Widget icon. Click on it and scroll down to the Trade section. And under the Trade section, you'll find Open Positions, Purchase and Sales, and Account Summary. We're first going to select the Account Summary widget, and it automatically places it on our page for us. So if we head over to our newly opened Account Summary widget, we have a few things to take note of. First is the account that is being displayed on the account summary widget. This is the number in the top left hand corner here. You can confirm that you are trading with this, this account based off of the number in the top right. Whatever number is being displayed in the top right, that is the account you are currently trading with. So if we head over to where that account number is being displayed, we have the ability to click the drop down menu to select a filter. If you click on this button, you'll notice there's a bunch of pre-imported filters or expressions. This allows you to filter your account summary based off of the conditions of these expressions. For this video, I won't be going into too much detail here. But if you would like to change the accounts that you are displaying on your account summary tab, simply just click this modify current filter. And as you can see here, I have the ability to change the account I am trading with just in case I have multiple accounts for whatever reason. So if we take a look below the account number being displayed, we have a list here of all the different entities that are listed in the account summary widget. First up being our total account balance, then the open trade equity, our current day profits and losses, our open trade equity plus our total current day profits and losses, our previous day balance, the collateral on deposit, the net liquidity value of an account, the market value of options, the unrealized profit and losses for options, our cash excess, purchasing power, margin credit, the net change from previous day in percentage, and the currency rate. And as you may have noticed, if I hover over any of these entities, a white box will be displayed, giving me a small description of what these entities are displaying. So now that we have that out of the way, I'll show you how to change some of the preferences of the account summary widget. If we head to the top right hand corner and click on the three vertical dots to view and manage our widget options, you'll notice we have a bunch of different options here we can choose. As I mentioned before, you can sort the account summary page by an expression or a custom formula. To input your own custom formula, you can click the top entity the plus button to create a custom formula. And as you can see here, you can put whatever expression you would like into this box. I won't be going into this for this video. So I'll just cancel out this tab right here. If I go back to the widget options, as you can see, I have the option to manage rows. And if I click on this, I can sort the order that I would like to display on my account summary sheet. So let's say for whatever reason, I didn't want balance to display first here. I can just click and then drag to whatever position I would like to display it in, in my account summary widget. If I want it in the third position, I can put it there. I can drag it all the way down to the bottom, to the middle, wherever I'd like. And then let's say for whatever reason, I didn't want the balance to display. I can simply click the little trash can icon to remove it from my account summary widget. And as you can see, it is no longer there. And if I did want to add it back, I can just go to the right here in the plus row tab and I can add my account balance back. I click on it and then I can click add. As you can see, I also have some other options here. I can put in my margins the margin excess, I can put in the type and currency, or I can put in the different formulas down here as well. And if I click add and close, it'll close that box that was last displayed here. 
As for some of the other preferences of the account summary widget that you'd like to change, you may want to change the style of your account summary. To do this, go back to the preferences section and then go into the style tab. As you can see, we are currently in the full style. We can also change it to visual. This may be more visually appealing to you, easier to read. And then we can also change it by heat map. I currently don't have any orders open, so nothing is showing on my heat map. So I'll change my style back to full. And if we go back to preferences, we can notice below our style, we have the open section of our preferences. This has all our different orders, our fills, our open positions, and then the purchases and sales as well. If you click on any of these, it'll open it up in a tab next to your account summary widget. And you can easily switch back and forth. Or if you drag and drop this tab, you can customize it and put it in a position next to your account summary so you can view them both at the same time. When trading live, I would suggest having these widgets open side by side. That way you're not constantly flipping back and forth one another. And if you notice, if I click one of the pluses next to my open widgets, I can easily add a widget from here as well rather than going through the preferences. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have an opens position tab as well as a purchases and sales tab. Now I can easily switch back and forth between all three or I can drag and drop again and place this in a new position. That way I have all of them displaying at one time. Finally, I'd like to show you these widgets working out in real time when placing a trade. So if I click on the plus tab here, I'll add a hot or a hybrid order ticket to place my trade in. And I'm just going to place long at the market for now. If I place my order, now you can currently see all my widgets have updated. And even my account summary widget has updated too. As you can see, a new margin and the margin excess has updated as well. Overall, this platform is extremely customizable. There's no one true set in stone way to have your page organized or what widgets you'd like up at one time. My demo was created to provide an example to users looking for a suggested layout when adding the account summary widget to their page or for users that have needed guidance on what settings or preferences to choose when using the account summary widget. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.